When it comes to cooling your CPU, you have two options. You can go air or you can go liquid. And depending on how much power that CPU is drawing, the larger the cooler you're going to need. Air coolers come in various different sizes from low profile, single tower, dual tower, 90 millimeter fans, 120 millimeter fans, 140 millimeter fans, and AIOs as well. They come in various different sizes, ranging from 120 millimeters for their uh, the radiator all the way up to about 420 millimeter for the radiator, as well as there's custom loops that you can build. Now, just make sure that whichever one you go with, it's going to fit your case and it's going to be powerful enough to cool your CPU. In this video, we're going to be comparing one of the best air coolers that you can get, the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit Evo 120. And this is a dual tower, seven heat pipe air cooler. And then it's going to go against one of the best AIOs you can get. And that is the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360. So I've recently decided to retire my Ryzen 9 5900X and opted for the Ryzen 9 7900X on the new AM5 platform. Uh, this way I can just provide more relevant data on current gen CPUs and my system specs here will be down uh, in the description below and keep in mind coolers are going to perform differently on different architecture so what you might see on this CPU which pulls around 200 watts it's not going to be the same on a CPU that pulls 200 watts from M4 or one that pulls 200 watts on the LGA 1851 or LGA 1700. And before we move on, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. So I'll be testing these coolers through a number of scenarios using Cinebench R23 and Hardware Info 64. Uh, the 7900X is a 12-core, 24-thread CPU, and testing, we're going to include all cores at 100% and 100% fan speed, and then we'll reduce the fan speed down to 70% for uh, reduced noise. So the CPU has two dies. Uh, there are two six-core dies. One is CCD1. And it runs at a higher clock speed and also ends up being a hot spot according to hardware info 64. And then there's also CCD2, which is the second six core uh, chiplet on the CPU. And it runs lower and cooler. So CCD2 will be disabled and then we'll run the multi-core on through Cinebench R23 on CCD1. And that will only be six cores, and we'll do it again at 100% fan speed and then at 70% fan speed. And this is going to give a broader idea of performance that then can easily be repeated. So when these are running all cores uh, 100%, the system pulls around 205 watts. And when it's on just one of the cores, CCD1, it pulls about 125 watts. So using Hardware Info 64, I'll be monitoring two data points. One is the CPU temp that the PC monitors to adjust your uh, fan speed based on your fan curve. And then the other one is going to be a hotspot temperature, which is CCD1. So I have a previous video that I did a week ago where I compared the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360 against the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 420. And if you want to see that video, it'll be linked down below, as well as I have um, installation and unboxing videos for both of these uh, coolers and they will be linked in the description down below as well. Now starting off with noise level the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit Evo comes in at 46 decibels which is the same as the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 420. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360 comes in a little bit lower at 44 decibels. So running Cinebench R23 multi-core at 100% fan speed the air cooler, the Phantom Spirit Evo, comes in at 92.5 degrees on the CPU. And then the CCD1 came in at 92.8 degrees, both of which are 4 to 5 degrees higher than the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360, which comes in at 87.4 degrees on the CPU and 88.1 degrees on CCD1. Reducing the fan speed down to 70%, uh, the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit Evo comes in at 93.1 degrees Celsius on the CPU and then 93.9 on the hotspot for CCD1. Whereas the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 comes in again 4 to 5 degrees lower at, uh, for the 360 at 88.4 degrees Celsius and 90.1 degrees Celsius. Now disabling CCD2. We ran it at, again, uh, multi-core using Cinebench R23, 
And on the CPU, the Thermite Phantom Spirit Evo came in at 85.6 degrees, whereas CCD1 came in at 89 degrees. Uh, again, we're about three to five degrees higher temperature than the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360, where the CPU came in at 82.9 degrees and CCD1 came in at 84 degrees. Then turning the fan speed down to 70%, again, the Thermalite Phantom Spirit Evo uh, comes in a few degrees higher than the Arctic Liquid Freezer 360 with 87.4 degrees on the CPU and then 90.4 degrees on CCD1. Whereas the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3360 came in at 83 degrees and then 85.4 degrees on CCD1. So as you can see it, per the data, the liquid coolers come in a fair amount better than the air coolers, and that is kind of to be expected. They are designed to perform better, uh, especially when it comes to trying to cool higher temperature CPUs with the 7900X is because it does draw quite a bit of power. So besides that, there are a couple of things that you need to consider. One, Air coolers are a fair amount more reliable. There's no moving parts except for the fans. So if something happens to a fan, they're fairly easy to replace. Um, as far as how these works, there is a liquid inside the vapor chain chamber that as the, uh, the base plate heats up, that liquid turns into a gas, comes up into the uh, fin stack, it cools, drips back down, turns into a liquid, and just repeats the cycle to draw the heat away. Whereas with um, liquid coolers, there's more that can go on, especially considering that there is a water pump inside that can break. There's also a potential for leaking. And generally, there's been more you know, issues in production when it comes to uh, radiators. I remember having an MSI uh, Core Liquid 360R and there is an issue with sediment building up within the radiator. So there are some more things that can go wrong with radiators. And if that pump goes, this thing needs to be chucked. Whereas, like I said, if a fan goes on this, you can replace the fan and it's still pretty good. Yeah. So again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll see you next time.